Yeah. God to me is is strong. God to me is something to be feared. Yeah. God to me is something, someone that people are afraid to mock. Yeah. The highest moral character, the best human being to have walked this earth. Look who they follow. Belief in God reduces stress, makes you less depressed, and increases reproductive success. <laughs> All right, state your name. I got more names than Jason Bourne. Every religion in the game, once more I'm reborn. And if you ever think... Okay, fucking Eminem. What's your name today? <laughs> for your reception, Iblis. For the Anglophone connection, um, Satan, Lucifer, the devil. And do you know why you're here today? I know everything. You're charging me with corrupting Islam, which is a strange charge since that is sort of my whole line of work and my reason for existing, which is a strange problem for free will, don't you think? What do you mean? Well, Allah, God, Yahweh is meant to be the merciful one, correct? The one who simultaneously knows all beyond time and space. And that would mean that my sole purpose from the beginning of time was to let the Almighty One down. Strange problems. Is that why you're corrupting the religion? Oh, I don't think I'm corrupting Islam, by the way. I'm just making it better. What do you mean? Muslims had empires. They were at the center of math, science, the arts, discoverers and polymaths. And now Muslims are the archetypical punching bag for all of humanity's collective projections. Violent, stupid, sexual deviants. All right, stay on point. Okay, okay. The fact of the matter is that Muslims are not what they once were. They are no longer representatives of the pinnacle of civilization. Currently, that's the West. However, in current times, liberalism is destroying the West. The variants of LGBTQI movements that have gone way too far. Degeneracy is at an all-time high. Women don't really know their place anymore. Children disobey their parents. Crime is on the rise. The West is in a state of decline. Kali And Islam is a perfect shield for this. We need exact arguments, rhetoric, to show how unreasonable the West has become and how logically coherent Islamic scripture is. And with this, we can resurrect Islam back to greatness. But your Iblis, why would you want that? I just think Islam could do better. Is that such a crime? Man, something tells me this is some very personal stuff you're going through and this isn't really about Islam at all. Oh, fuck off. You hatched out your egg two days ago and you're going to talk back to me. Do you know who I am? Before these clay people called humans roamed the earth, I was top jinn. I'm not an angel in the Islamic religion, remember? I'm a jinn. And like all jinns, I am made of fire. I have free will. Angels, on the other hand, they are made of light. They are daddy's little puppets. Allah says jump, they don't even ask how high because the ask would indicate that they actually had some level of agency in those little halos. No, no. They are born perfect. I, on the other hand, earned my way to the heavens. I was Allah's favorite all out of pure will and knowledge. I was her last favorite. I learned everything there was to know. My aql was perfect. So can you imagine when, on a whim, Adam was created? Okay, can you please not do that again? This equipment costs, well, nothing, but... It's a hassle if you keep busting the image. Whatever. So, Adam is created out of clay. Allah tells everyone to bow. The angels fold in a second, but I only bow to the creator. 
because that's the only thing that makes any logical sense. What Allah had asked for was beyond logical. Allah told me everything I knew, and I knew that fire was higher than clay. I cannot bow to something illogical. It has to make sense. Hmm. So this is why you want Islam to be a purely logical endeavor. It cannot work any other way. See, Muslims are dealing with illogical people. Islam is the perfect utilitarian tool. It is the apex of evolutionary thought. If humans abide by their laws to the utmost, then they create the best societies, free of any decadence that we see today. It teaches men how to be men, women how to be women, ensures there's no corruption, social harmony. If people implement the religion in their lives, they will be the best versions of themselves. Peace will reign. Anything else is completely illogical. Uh, so I'm guessing you think the charges brought against you here are unjust. <laughs> well, my whole existence is unjust. Someone has to be the villain, right? The truth bearer. Someone with the guts and intellectual clarity to say it like it is. Okay, so here's an alternative interpretation to your little shtick. <laughs> you just confirmed that this is in fact some personal stuff you're going through, and that this isn't really about Islam at all. Things happen, man. It takes heart to look in the mirror. <laughs> Could it have been that maybe your lack of submission didn't have anything to do with being right? Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Your submission. Could it be that you didn't have the heart to submit to something you didn't quite understand? Isn't that what faith is all about? That it's a bit of a secret? That there's some mystery within you that only you and the divine have access to? and that everyone alive has their own access and is going through their own struggle. That is precisely the struggle between the outside and within that you're refusing to acknowledge because it would mean you're no longer using your intellect as a safe space. That you have to feel connection with the clay you feel so superior to. Everything you're talking about, about Islam as being this shield against the West, I mean, it sounds like you're just using religion for your own very personal issues. You say it makes sense, that it protects you against doubt. Becoming a cult for people who feel lost and mix that in with the sort of reactionary politics that judges everyone according to a standard but basically has nothing to do with spirituality at all. It seems like you're trying to be really objective about everyone else but really subjective with yourself. Using Islam to beat everyone else over the head with a sense of divinity that just fuels your ego and nothing else. Seems like you haven't submitted to anything, just yourself. And isn't that what you're all about? To distance humans from their hearts, to whisper into their being that everyone is ugly and decadent, but that you are fine because you can rationalize everything to yourself. And this is exactly the charge. We are in dark times, but it seems to me like you're using Islam as a methodology for self-improvement. Is that all it is for you? Is that what divinity means? I know if you Google the term jihad, you get a whole load of imagery, but this is what's projected on the religion. Onto humans who are currently experiencing devastating heartbreak. And isn't there another way to deal with heartbreak? Islam, the submission of Qalb? People, humans, clay who voice their pain, who voice their vulnerabilities? Isn't that a far more potent aspect of inner jihad than hiding behind supposed logic? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've known humans longer than anyone. This is their makeup. This is their destiny. I've just been accelerating their ride from the beginning of time. If you look at our subscriber account, if you look at our media, if you look at our viewership, if you look at our power, my clan is winning, little birds. You can dance around all you want. We are winning. Man, we're sorry. No, we're bloody not. We are sorry that you had to go through. Don't even try it. I'm obedient to Allah's plan. 
the disobedient to Allah's command. Do you know how much of a mindfuck that is? So no, I don't need sympathy. It's far too late for that. My role is to create the illusion of an absence. The illusion of winning. Exactly. And as you can see, I'm pretty good at it. So, unless there's anything else you want to judge me with. Allah is the only judge. What are you talking about, man? I judge the hell out of this prick. I like you. <laughs> Big day ahead, creating divisions in people's hearts and whatnot. But this has been fun. Let's do it again sometime. Man, you always go soft on me. Dude. No, seriously, have some sympathy for Satan. Oh, I'm sorry that you've been through- What? What next? There is no next, it's the ultimate example. Whatever, man.